Failure of presidential leadership, Biden blasted for response to Helene. Biden Harris leadership in question after Helene. I love how Fox News, I mean, a lot of media orgs do this, but I love how they're too cowardly to say a position. So they'll just refer to like an imaginary opinion they constructed. You know, they won't say we're questioning Biden slash Harris leadership in, uh, after Helene because that would kind of reveal the partisan get. It's like, oh no, people like vaguely are questioning it. Nation is being compared to that of Hurricane Katrina. Homeland Security is warning that FEMA does not have enough funds to help and distressed North Carolina residents are reportedly being forced, listen to this, to fend for themselves, relying on homegrown rescue efforts. I mean, maybe you should have voted for more funding for FEMA. We're not getting the amount of support that we need. We haven't seen FEMA. We haven't seen Red Cross. We haven't seen Hearts with Hands. We've seen no agencies come through here. Most people drive through with their cameras out, filming us like we're animals in a zoo, and don't stop. It's too late. I mean... Oh, and in case you, you want to know, like, how far they've already taken this, Donald Trump was just openly claiming FEMA ran out of money because of migrants. It is it, preposterous how bad things have gotten that, like, it, we're literally at a point now where it's like, oh, yeah, the reason why you're drowning fr from the lack of money that was caused by our voting against the additional FEMA, you know, funding is, is because of, like, black people. They took too long. They, uh... They had, it took them five days to get here. It's, it's disgraceful. They keep saying we the people. No, there is no we the people. It's them versus us. Them versus us, powerful words. And as Americans cry out for federal assistance, they are desperate. President Biden sees his administration's handling of the storm in a completely different way. What do the states in the storm zone need, Mr. President? Sorry? What do the states in the storm zone, what do they need after what you saw today? Oh, and the storm zone. What a stupid... Qu Wait, what? Uh, what? What are the states of the storm zone? What do they need? What are you talking about? What, it's like a stupid gotcha. Qu quick, quick, list like the seven trillion things that people need in an emergency zone so we can bitch about you not listing all of them. Yes, sir. I'm wondering what storm you're talking about. The, uh, they're getting everything they need. And uh, they're very happy across the board. So we just got to... I'm going to have to go back to the front and get some more money for this. It was a little hard to hear with the chopper there, but he's returning from the storm zone and literally says, oh, the storm zone. And his words were, I didn't know what storm you were talking about. There are multiple storms. Another one is literally hurtling towards Florida right now. There are, there, there are multiple storms. Out. Professor John Yu, the storm to which we refer is the second deadliest hurricane in the U.S. mainland in 55 years. And that is the leadership we get. Kaylee, first, thanks for having me back, guys. I didn't know you were going to have me back. We love thanks having you. <laughs> so look, this uh, is a failure of presidential leadership. If you have people still dying several days after the storm, you have supplies that can't get into critical areas. You have accounts of private helicopters and planes flying in to rescue people. And the reason I say that is I will I will say like this is really vindicating all the death cult language that I described the Republicans with. No, they're 100% they're demons. They're not human. Because when I look at this, there's like a liberal urge within me which is like, "Oh, you should debunk the points." But there's no point in debunking the points because everything they're saying is factually incorrect. It's it's like it's not only factually incorrect, it's obviously incorrect. Like it would be a waste of time. Oh, did you know that this is fake? Yeah, all of you know that this is fake. It's all made up. So with the liberal like urge to debunk left aside, what more is there to say? But these people should all be in jail. It should be illegal to lie like this in mainstream media. Yes, that would hit a lot of liberal orgs as well. And I'm so okay with that. I'm so incredibly okay with that. I hope you all know that I'm okay with that. But like these people, like every single one of them should be rotting in a cell, 100%. Um, there is, it is a death cult. Like there is nothing they will not say in their pursuit of causing more death. It is always about more death. There is, it is, it is like the end goal to them. Founders created a presidency so that one person could act in the moment of crisis with speed and decision and activity and energy and also so the American people could hold the government accountable, could hold that one person. No, the president is actually like the head of state and government. It's the, it's one of the three branches. They didn't, what? It's weird narrativizing. It's accountable. 
it pains me to say this, but when you see that video of President Biden, do we really think that he's in charge? Shouldn't he be in the storm zone and kicking butt to get people moving and things? What the f would him being in the storm zone do apart from clog up the rescue operation? Why, why would he, why, what, what could he possibly do? Lift rocks? He's a hundred years old. That would just delay everything. Yeah, the other guy was complaining that he was hogging the airspace arriving there. Moving into the area for disaster relief. Have they spread responsibility around so that we, the American people, can't tell who's in charge and how to hold them responsible? It's con no, it's, it's Congress. Congress approves the funding. That's how the government works for failures in the disaster relief. Yeah, they need to act with alacrity, with resolve, and in a wholesome manner. And I do want to play this from Governor Kemp. A lot of people have been making something of Governor Kemp and his discourse with the federal government, but they've ignored this component. Here is Kemp on Biden in this moment. When the first... Uh, wholesome? Is that what we're going with? Uh, emergency declarations came down. There was only 11 counties in that. Uh, a lot of people were outraged, including me, because there was such devastation in, in, you know, up to 90 counties. Uh, so we called the White House. We spoke to the, to the president's chief of staff, the, the FEMA administrator, and said, look, you're sending the signal that, that you're not paying attention to some of these rural communities. Kennedy, why is the governor of Georgia having to call the White House, asking why rural communities are not included and disaster declaration relief from FEMA. He had to call and plead for rural communities. I mean, this is deadly. I mean, I, 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 again, like, I, I, it's just, it's, it's personally degrading to me that I should have to ask this because all of you should be intelligent enough to. I feel like I'm, I'm watching like Dora the Explorer and I'm following along with the swiper no swiping bit. You know, um, <clears throat> is the claim by the governor actually true, or is he just saying that? Like, I know that we would imagine a news organization would fact check something like that. Like the idea that Biden just forgot to include rural communities in the FEMA relief zone. You know, Biden doesn't direct FEMA, right? Like FEMA, like Biden's not an expert on expedited search and rescue and recovery. Like they have their own system for banishing disasters. This is heartbreaking. And to John's point, you bring up the word crisis. That is what the federal government is supposed to do. They are supposed to respond in a crisis. Hold on, I'm going to come up. I've got a good argument. You're ugly. I hate your glasses. I despise, I, I, and your hair, like a mop on your head. I am, I am, de it is denigrating to me to have to watch this. So I will denigrate in response. Crisis. These are the moments where you need to make sure that you have infrastructure, that you've got bureaucracies that are communicating with each other. Oh, it's the torture memo lawyer. Hold on. What? Baylor, what do you know that I don't know? This guy, John Yu, was one of the leaders of George Bush's unitary executive theory stuff and wrote the torture memo that let them do all that stuff. The, the big guy who said, I'm glad to be back on. He's the torture memo guy. Okay, cool to deliver aid in the moment, not later on when there's chin scratching. People don't want politicization right now, but what they're dealing with is an administration that can only create crises. They can't respond to them. You know, and, and you look back at the hug that New Jersey Governor Chris Christie gave Barack Obama in 2012 during Hurricane Sandy, and that was his political undoing. You look at the response to Hurricane Katrina in 2005, and that was, you know, a harsh light that George W. Bush was painted in for his... <laughs> I was... <laughs> She's like, yeah, that was Sa Hurricane Sandy was the undoing of Barack Obama, whereas George W. Bush was painted in a harsh light to do to Katrina. She she realized, like, wait, hold on, I'm on a propaganda network. I can't acknowledge that that was objectively his fuck up. I have to see it like, you know, even though Katrina was infinitely worse than what's happening now because FEMA just didn't save those people. She had she's like, you know, oh, wait, hold on, I can't. Please turn this off. I can't take it anymore. Millions of Americans around the country are watching this every single day. His presidency. 
I don't know if Kamala Harris will ever ascend to the presidency because of the response of her administration. And right now, we don't have a president. All you have to do is look at his response to the press queries, and you know he's not all there. Someone needs to be there. It has to be her. She doesn't have to suspend her campaign like John McCain did in 2008, but she absolutely has to do more than read from a piece of paper. What does the vice president have the power to do? in this case if she's not going to answer questions then she has to answer with action and she is what not action? doing that shame on her because this shame on her shame shame this is again it's like and this and this is the big like a political awakening that liberals need to have and i think a lot of them have had it and more of them need to have it, which is that the enemy is evil and they are not human and they hate you and they don't believe in truth. It's not that they're wrong. They are wrong, but that's not, they're not incidentally wrong. They didn't arrive at the wrong conclusion because they were provided the wrong information. They work in organizations that tell them it doesn't matter what's true. You will say this. And then they say that. You might recognize it, liberals. We you see it whenever your news columnists are made to discuss Israel. You know, you think the you think it's a coincidence all of the like fifty seven refugees die in explosion. You know, in Gaza. Really, who did the explosion? You see what it looks like when you talk about Israel. These guys do it for everything. Not that we really need to debunk anything, but Obama was openly praised by his uh, handling of Sandy by governors, including uh, Chris Christie. That was before the you know MAGA movement, so there might have been some like mu some reciprocity in in some instances at least with like acknowledging reality. But we're well past that at this point. You know, we're well past that. Shouldn't be about politics right now. Or at least show up at FEMA. My God, the hurricane happened Thursday. Yes, she was visiting the border Friday. You could have gone Saturday morning and visited FEMA and shown your face and read from your paper on Saturday morning. But she didn't do that, Emily. Why would she Something do that? Something else that wasn't... What, what do you mean, at FEMA? What does that mean? At FEMA? Like, at like an office somewhere? What does that mean? Done. FEMA was not prepared. And we were lied to as a country. This is really important. Mayorkas said this in June. FEMA is tremendously... I mean, she is literally, like, in large part reading from a script here. Obviously, she's reading a quote at this moment, but she's referring heavily to the script because, like, if there's no... Couldn't afford the, um... Um... Teleprompter for this one? prepared. This is what we do. This is what they do. The key here is to make sure that the communities that are potentially impacted are prepared as well. He was talking about hurricane response. That was in June. He said we were prepared. Here he is three days ago. We are meeting the immediate needs uh, with the money that we have. We are expecting another hurricane hitting. Uh, we do not have the funds. FEMA does not have the funds to make it through the season. So FEMA was prepared in June. Do you guys have any idea <clears throat> how bad this is going to be once FEMA runs out of money? Like, the response is strained enough as it is, but, like, once they run out of money, Congress is not going to give them what they need. Then he admits they were not prepared, and then we find out the reason why. We'll put it up, Emily, and this was FEMA. Almost a billion dollars went to illegal immigrants and migrant shelters. Yeah, though, there you go. We're just, like, repeating this. Just, yeah, it's, and why, why not, right? It's not like, it does, it's not illegal to lie on in the news. You can just say whatever. <clears throat> you can just say anything. Half a million is, like, nothing, by the way, in the context of... Uh, of uh, FEMA spending. FEMA in partnership with CB, uh, CBP. Hmm. This statistic is absolutely horrifying, but it pales in comparison to the horror that these Americans are suffering. And That's a very well-prepared line there. Really, like, like, she was literally like looking at the teleprompter for that. Everyone that I have heard from, the incredible patriots of Save Our Allies, the United States Veterans Corps, all of those amazing Americans with the boots on ground doing all they can to help these Americans, what they say is that this doesn't do the devastation justice. That right now they are still in recovery mode, God willing that there will be more recoveries made, but that soon to follow will be a much higher death count. That because of the inaccessible Americans that are in devastated, that separated by waters, that there are many <clears throat> yet to be determined and that there are many requests for hundreds of body bags mm. by representatives. 175 House Republicans voted against FEMA funding. Yeah, no, again, they just, they want people to die. There's no, there's just, there's no, 
way around it. You know? I hope the Democrats utilize that fact. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they say. Republican voters don't listen to Democrats. They get everything from Fox News or Newsmax or whatever else. Like, it, it, it literally doesn't matter. Some centrists do. We're talking marginal numbers. At the end of the day, there's really no way around this apart from, like, mass arrests and shutdown of media. I mean, should do we just let everything die? Like, a handful of billionaires pull the strings, uh, 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 you know, of a, of a bunch of media conglomerates, so hundreds of millions of people vote for death cultists? Vaj, I was talking to a conservative earlier and they just called it all fake. I showed them a Forbes article and they said you get your news from MSNBC. Yeah, it's, they don't, they think that MSNBC is like Fox to them. They don't understand. They don't realize that Fox is like, Fox pundits are paid propagandists who go out there every day with a script and a line. And at MSNBC, they have, like, realistically, MSNBC, they have, at the best of times, like, you know, somewhat thoughtful, independent individuals and a lot of just, like, complacent simps. But the idea that they operate as a parallel propaganda network is a delusion. Not even close. A police officer asks that citizens stop stalking FEMA personnel. Can I ask a small favor? Will you stop with this conspiracy junk floating all over Facebook? The state is working nonstop. Their power has 10,000 workers on this. It doesn't matter. MSNBC is biased, but comparatively transparent about it. It has actual journalists in their hire. I mean, if you want to, like, get a comparison yourself, you can literally just turn on the TV and watch. I guess a lot of you probably don't have, like, cable, which is fair. But you can see the programs on YouTube when they upload those segments, you know? You can watch Fox News. You can watch MSNBC. It's completely incomparable. They're, the difference between them is, is it's, they're not even the same kind of program. I watch a lot of Fox through Hassan. Okay, I don't watch Hassan. I have a genuine question. What does he say? How how do you how how do you cover that? Like what do you say? Doesn't it get boring when you're watching and it's like, oh, the, they're just objectively plainly lying, right? Like I'm running out. It's it's just, like this is why I say it's like degrading to me personally because it's a waste of my time, not in the sense of like I'm above debunking things, but that there's nothing to debunk. They're just saying things that are wrong. There's no like I I feel like there is no point to being engaged in the process. He just laughs and says, come on, bro. Should I do that? I mean, I, I like, I'm not even attempting to denigrate Hassan here at all. Like, I think that probably is like the only thing you can really do. He eats and watches Lamau. How does he eat? You always say he eats. How does he eat all the time? Isn't he cut? Isn't he like 12% body fat? Where's it all going? I guess he works out. I don't work out. He eats chicken. I should eat more chicken. So do libs actually believe Fox is okay to exist as it is? I don't know. I, I think that a lot of people are really, like, hung up on the free speech discourse. I Like, look, okay? I'm a pretty big defender of libertarian rights in the sense of, like, your ability to practice free speech without punishment from the state. That being said, my, like, belief in that is also kind of challenged here my, by my belief that we shouldn't all be sent to death camps. I don't think that human civilization should be brought to an abrupt, bloody, and violent end because a few billionaires have the money to control basically all media and lie to so many people that they vote in politicians who essentially like end the world basically so like it's it's not that i don't believe in free speech it's that my belief in free speech is contested in this case by my belief in the continuation of life on this planet and goodness and happiness and you know sunflowers and sunshine and other things that i think are good you know i guess i'm not willing to give up litter i would like in a faustian bargain i would not trade the universe for the right to lie on fox news if you do believe in free speech, by the way, the Republicans losing should be priority number one. Like, do you think they're going to preserve free speech? They are literally doing widespread book bans right now. Project 2025 involves censoring the government um, and uh, 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 like flat out banning government, like, uh, you know, discussion of certain topics, including climate change, which, you know, end of the world stuff. It's not a difficult equation is what I'm saying. OK, the book bans are kind of sensationalist. No. They, no, it's not at all. They are openly, like, talking about widespread book bans, and they have already done a lot within their purview. They're, they're already happening. It's not even just a Project 2025 thing. Like, uh, 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 the um, Don't Say Gay in Florida, where they were, like, opening teachers up to civil litigation 
and potentially ruinous lawsuits if they ever even invoke gender or sexuality in class, like as a concept, to the point of like very potentially a gay teacher who mentions casually that he has a husband could be opening himself up to both being fired and ruinous lawsuit. These are like, I mean, it goes beyond book bans. Like these people are Nazis. It's not euphemistic. Marjorie Taylor Greene is literally talking about how Jews control the weather. And if you don't think she means Jews here, like I've got a bridge to sell you. Maybe even a bridge in Florida. So it's at a discount right now. Yes, they can control the weather. It's ridiculous for anyone to lie and say it can't be done. Like we know what she's, come on. Are there any centrist news networks reporting mismanagement of the disaster recovery? It's impossible to know because everything gets drowned out by the insane bad faith chattering of people who just want to end the world with, you know, propaganda. To my knowledge, no. As far as I can tell, from what I've heard, genuinely, uh, Biden opened up the coffers as much as he could. Uh, they have been managing the recovery effort as diligently as they can. There are tens, possibly hundreds of thousands of people involved in the recovery effort doing work tirelessly right now in the southeastern United States. I mean, are they doing it perfectly? No, I mean, nobody does anything perfectly. My understanding is that they're doing about as good of a job as you could expect them to, possibly a better job than you could expect them to. Is MTG a grifter, a Nazi, a return? I, I, I posit the radical idea that she might be all three. We know she's retarded, and she's a Nazi. She's, well, she took issue with Laura Loomer. She's more of a really stupid Christian nationalist who has anti-Semitic opinions, possibly through, like, circumstance and possibly because she believes them, but it's kind of hard to know. And she's a grifter because fascists tend not to believe in truth that much. I think she believes most of the stuff she says, but she's prone to overstatement because she doesn't see what the big deal with it is. I doubt she's ideologically a Nazi. It's possible ideologically she doesn't even think she's racist, but she's also retarded. So what she thinks she is doesn't really matter very much, right? It's not like we need her brain's approval to describe what her ideology is. Yeah, she might be a religious anti-Semite more so than she is a Nazi anti-Semite. Nazis tend not to be really motivated by the Christian grievance against Jews. They tend to employ it, but in reality, their problem with Jews has more to do with them thinking that they sent Tyrone to f their white girl crush in, in high school. So that like, it's, it's like, I don't think, I don't think anybody named Tyrone Marjorie Taylor Greene's crush in high school. I could be wrong on that. Um, that's just a presumption on my part. I think for, for her, it's probably more of the like QAnon religiosity thing. Laura Loomer's f***ing her crush. Laura Loomer is ideologically a Nazi. To be fair, Vosh, most racists don't think they are. That is true. Very few racists are ideologically racist, but there is an important distinction there in terms of like when you're talking to them, you know? Like, Laura Loomer is ideologically a racist. If you gave her a truth serum and sat her down in a room, um, first, please ask her if she's f***ing Trump, because I need to know. Like, that'd be too funny to not get an answer to. But second, like, and you asked her, you know, are you a white supremacist? Do you think such and such? You could ask her all those questions. She would answer yes. She does believe those things consciously. I think that Marjorie Taylor Greene, if you gave her the same truth serum, would probably answer like, no, I just think that, you know, such and such and such, or culture or whatever. Like, I maybe I'm wrong on that. It's just a guess. Um, but my guess is that she's more really stupid and really caught up in, like, QAnon Christian fascist conspiracism, but not, like, aware of how far down that, the rabbit hole she is. Where's the line between lack of intelligence versus lack of awareness? I don't know. You can, you can bust out the calipers if you want. I, you know, I doubt there's an objective answer to that.